This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, what? Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realised she had superpowers. If you need a cape, there was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. You know, floating in water, which was her superpower. All right, fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. To come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Claire arrived just in time was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. Or was she more the Lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. so difficult. at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough. His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher.
Claire's gone. Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? If Claire was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero, this was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. They were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. rectangles to save. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. This one was behind a wall. 
Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. Laura didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time, and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounce too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. Herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there, on another platform or something. She'd wonder what he was up to. Was he missing her? He wasn't saying very much. Chris was in love. She was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, probably best to wait. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off.
The others seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude? And always there. <laughs>